All right, this is gonna be fun. Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and I've teamed up with Oppo for this unboxing and hands-on of this, the brand new Oppo Find X5 Pro. I'm also in a very fancy studio. But I have a fancy studio when you've got a fancy phone. So let's get this unboxed. There's a bunch of upgrades with the X5 Pro. New processor, bigger battery, new camera tech, including some incredible low light video, which we'll come to in a second. First things first, this is always the best bit. Beautiful, look at that. So you can see they've evolved the design here, but let's see what else we get in the box. I think it's the usual gubbins. We've got some paperwork, SIM card ejector, protective case, always a nice extra USB-C cable. Always handy. And yes, we still get the charger bundled. And actually, this is a big deal because it's the new 80 watt SuperVOOC charger, which is 15 watts more than we had on last year's Find X3 Pro. But let's get back to this guy. And the first thing you'll notice is this beautiful ceramic material. This is white, this also comes in black. And actually, you can see as my little grubby paws are all over it, it doesn't pick up fingerprints or smudges. It's more scratch resistant, and it actually dissipates heat better than glass. You can see we've also got this little 75 degree rounded corner by the camera module, so it just sort of blends seamlessly with the body. And actually, one really nice little feature is these camera lenses are a little bit recessed into the module. They call it their crater design, which they've upgraded, which protects them. I think it's such a smart idea. Now, around the front, as you can see, we have this big 6.7 inch screen, selfie camera in the top left corner, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus. And also we get IP68 dust and water resistance. Stereo speakers, dual SIM, 5G, of course. We also get this built-in optical fingerprint reader, face ID as well. Pretty much everything you'd want in a flagship phone. Although somehow, possibly by magic, they've actually managed to squeeze in a 5,000 million power battery into this body, 8.5 mil thick, which is pretty incredible. It's down to using a new dual cell battery technology, but that's only part of the story because then when I bring back this guy, the 80 watt SuperVOOC charging. So you can actually get up to about 50% of your battery in just 12 minutes. We also get wireless charging, AirVOOC, uh, and if you pair it with one of Oppo's stands, you can actually fully top up the phone in just 47 minutes wirelessly, which is pretty impressive. Now, speaking of power, this is actually one of the first flagship phones to come running Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. So we'll get a nice little extra boost in performance with this, and that's paired with up to 256 gigs of storage and 12 gigs of RAM, although you can actually boost that RAM using some of the storage up to 19 gigs. So in terms of specs, this checks all the boxes, but this has a secret weapon, and it's written right here. Oppo have developed this Mary Silicon X Imaging NPU, or Neural Processing Unit, which works alongside the Snapdragon ISP and basically takes this to the next generation of computational photography. But first, the specs. And as you can see, we have this triple lens setup. So we've got a wide, an ultra-wide, and a telephoto lens. And like its predecessor, the wide and ultra-wide are nearly identical. They share the same 50 megapixel resolution, the same IMX 766 sensor. The wide lens does have a new upgraded glass structure, which is supposed to reduce chromatic aberrations. But the beauty of that is there's really no difference between them in terms of visual quality. So when you're transitioning between lenses taking a photo or when you're taking video, it's almost seamless. And then we have the 13 megapixel telephoto, which gives us a two times optical zoom or five times hybrid optical zoom. One of the best features of the X5 Pro, though, is if I jump into the camera... Power cut, apparently. Very convenient, but here we are. And actually, this is a really good opportunity to talk about the secret weapon on this guy. With this phone, when it detects the brightness is around 20 lux or so, so when you're out and about at night, it'll automatically switch to ultra night video mode, and then you can set to shoot in 4K. And while I fix the power, maybe we can go outside and put this to the test. So it does a really good job. And a big part of this quality is down to that new Mary Silicon X imaging MPU. It can actually detect and then reduce that noise that you see, the grain, compared to other phones, while retaining finer detail, skin tones, color accuracy, and white balance. So we get some incredible low light video. 
Okay, so they seem to have fixed the problem. The power's back. So Oppo is really changing the game when it comes to low light video, but we also have a bunch of other nice upgrades with the camera, including an industry first SLR level five axis optical image stabilization. Try saying that three times quickly. And that'll help ensure that your photos and your videos are nice and smooth and blur free. And it can also account for a three degree incline. Uh, so if you're walking with the phone while you're filming or it's shaking a little bit, it should be nice and smooth. There is also a cinematic mode, which shoots in a wider 235 to one aspect ratio. You can also shoot in log and HDR. So if you really want to tinker and get that filmic look, then you can use cinematic mode. You'll also notice this little logo, Hasselblad. So Oppo actually worked with engineers at Hasselblad to implement their natural color calibration to the Find X5 Pro when you're using Pro mode. They've also added a very nostalgic X-Pan mode, which replicates the initial negative look when you take the photo before it's processed. You might just be able to see this gentle curve to the AMOLED screen as well. It looks stunning. 6.7 inches, it's 120 hertz, and it uses an LTPO panel, which means it can dynamically adapt between 1 and 120 hertz based on what you're doing to save battery. The X5 Pro also boasts the first multi brightness color calibration. What that means is Oppo's engineers have actually calibrated the colors of the screen at both 500 nits, which all phones are, and 100 nits, which means when you dim the screen, the colors are just as accurate. Actually, the slider here, we have 8,192 levels of brightness. And of course, being an Oppo phone, we have the latest Color OS. This is running 12.1, and that's on top of Android 12. Really fast, really smooth, and nice to use. And actually, one of my favorite things about Oppo phones is I love the pre-installed wallpapers that you get. And actually, whichever wallpaper you use, you can get the colors from that to match the icons and the UI of the phone. And breathe. <laughs> that was a lot to take in. But the key takeaways of the Oppo Find X5 Pro, new processor, so it's faster, bigger battery, so it lasts longer, new camera tech, so it takes better photos and videos, particularly in tricky lighting, a more color accurate screen, and in my opinion, one of the best, most unique looking designs on a phone. So the X5 Pro really takes the Fine series to the next level, it elevates it, and I think it's a really exciting flagship for 2022.